Increasing evidence of airborne transmission of the coronavirus acknowledged by World Health Organization, WHO. At a media briefing on July 7, 2020 in Geneva, Switzerland, WHO Technical Lead for Infection Prevention and Control, Professor Benedetta Allegranzi, confirmed that there is rising evidence of airborne transmission of COVID-19 virus and that the WHO will continue to gather research on all modes of transmission. This announcement follows a letter endorsed by 239 scientists from 32 countries calling on national and international bodies to recognize the airborne spread of coronavirus and to step up current protective measures including providing air ventilation and filtration as well as avoidance of overcrowding in public. It was previously thought that larger droplets of the virus fall to the ground too quickly for airborne transmission but evidence has shown that lighter infected micro droplets emitted from talking, coughing and even exhaling can remain in the air for hours and travel farther than the 2 meter social distancing recommendation, thus putting more people at risk of inhaling them and contracting the disease. Moreover, besides the immensely painful and distressing symptoms suffered by victims for sometimes months, a new British study has found that even recovering or mild case patients can get grave, even life-threatening brain disorders, such as brain inflammation, stroke, delirium and nerve damage. Deeply concerned for the public safety, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai had warned in advance earlier, repeatedly during conferences on March 30, April 29 and on May 25, 2020, that the virus is spread through the air also and people need to take serious precautions. Following is an excerpt from May 25. Even if that person is not sick or he doesn't know he's sick yet, he still has it. Yes, Master. And then he's still in the air because a lot of people who don't know they're sick are sick but walking around somewhere or in supermarkets or something like that, being macho, don't wear masks or flouting the emergency uh, COVID uh, curfew and they breathe and they cough and they talk and it's still in the air, then you will get it if you are near or next to it. You understand? After even if nobody there anymore, you still get it. So have to wear masks and protective outside your room. Wash your hands, your body all the time after you've been out, okay? Thank you for the reminder, Master. You have to be serious. Don't be macho because you don't know what it's like mm -hmm. when you are sick with this. It's torture to you. Some feel like burning fire in their body in their blood. Some have no air, they cannot breathe. Some children are sick with strange diseases. Some people got affected in different way. This COVID-19 infection is like none other. It has quite a variety of symptoms all related to it, and even no symptom at all. Very scary one for children and adults alike, even healthy young adults also. So be serious, yeah? Furthermore, even in private correspondence to disciples, Master requested the participants to sit or be at least three meters away from each other during the initiation ceremony, though the pandemic was already declared gone in that country, and by her instruction, would-be initiates from other countries are still not allowed to come, in order to protect the people of the country where the initiation will take place, from the risk of recurring pandemic. For the initiation, all must separate at least three meters apart from each other. Should be outdoor, fresh air, better do not chat close up, wear mask and face shield. Excerpt from Supreme Master Ching Hai's note, sent to, forwarding to different Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association centers. July 2nd, 2020. Our deepest gratefulness to our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai for her benevolent warnings to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and safeguard humanity. Also our sincere gratitude to all scientists, governments and organizations working to stop the disease. May we take all precautions to protect ourselves and others. And we earnestly pray that the world adopt the compassionate vegan diet now to end the suffering of all co-inhabitants in heaven's boundless mercy. For the full broadcast of the above-mentioned conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai titled Be Serious and Protect Yourself by All Means, log on to suprememastertv.com and search Be Serious.